Surely you have heard the famous lines of this legend called Bernard Edwards. He simply revolutionized the funk scene with his incredible grooves. His lines are wonderful and fun to play. Now do you know the whole story of this legend? I invite you to travel back in time with us and get to know a little more about Bernard Edwards. First I would like you to like this video and subscribe to our channel, help our community to grow, I count on your support. The year 1952, and Bernard Edwards was born in Greenville, North Carolina. Edwards spent most of his early years in Brooklyn, and began to make a name for himself in the New York music scene in the late 1960s, and in his late teens Edwards was the music director and bassist for the Big Apple Band, where he would meet his great companion, Niall Rogers, in 1970. Edwards worked at a post office with the mother of Rogers' girlfriend. Soon after, it was drummer Tony Thompson turned to join the two, and with this lineup they founded their own group, Sheep. With Sheep, Edwards created era-defining hits such as Dance, Dance, Dance. Everybody dance. Love free. I want your love. And good time. Edwards also worked with Niall Rogers to produce and write for other artists, using Sheik to play everything musically and vocally except lead vocals. These productions with Norma Jean Wright, Sister Sledge, Sheila and B. Devotion, Diana Ross, Johnny Mathis, Debbie Harry and Fonzie Thornton led to more hits like Saturday. Keyway or Family, Spacer, Upside Down, I'm Coming Out, and Backfired. On the song, We Are Family, Kathy Sledge gives a brief message to Edwards, singing. Yeah, come on Bernard, play, play your funky bass, boy. They were signed to Atlantic Records and were nominated for a Grammy thanks to the song, Dance, 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 in 1977. They followed the success of their first record with 1978's Say Chic and the single, La Freak, also as the next mega-hit, Good Times, in 1979's Risqué. Edwards is a master of funk, a musician with great technical skill. He exerts great restraint and control in the most musical way, creating a part and letting it guide the music. His lines are simple enough that you can sing along with them, but they feel fresh time and time again due to the subtle tension they create. In many ways, he defined what we consider a bass groove, a hook that needs no elaboration to be interesting and, in fact, is most effective when performed correctly repeatedly. While Edwards certainly has the musical and technical skill of elaboration, as demonstrated in some of his solos and the precision with which he plays, neither the groove nor the sonic density of the song is compromised. It all comes down to the ability of your right or plucked hand to control the accuracy, articulation and duration of notes. Edwards is well aware of this and uses different techniques with his right hand, and one of the techniques is called chucking, without compromising on pocket or groove authenticity. While most musicians tend to use slap bass as a means of showing off their technical skill, he uses slap and pop attack as a means of adding personality to the note. It contributes to the sound and feel of the piece without opening the door to overly enthusiastic demonstrations of technique. This approach sets him apart from other tapa players of the time and beyond, asserting his sense of maturity and attentiveness in music production.
During the late 1970s, hip-hop was in its infancy until the success of the Sugar Hill Gang's Rapper's Delight. Your body rock, well so far you heard my voice, but I brought two friends along. And next on the mic is my man Hank, come on Hank, sing that song. Check it out, I'm the C-A-S-N, the O-V-A, and the rest is F-L-Y. You see, I go by the code of the doctor of the mix, and these reasons I'll tell you why. You see, I'm six foot one, and I'm tons of fun, and I dress to a D. You see, I got more clothes than Muhammad Ali, and I dress so vicious. I got bodyguards. That song, which featured Edwards' bass line, quickly became a mainstream musical phenomenon and paved the way for sampling in rap, hip-hop, and R&B. Since then, numerous Edwards Rogers productions have been adapted to provide the musical background to hits by Salt N. Peppa, Notorious Big, Will Smith, and many others. Edwards and Rogers continued releasing music and touring as Chic until 1983, when they decided to go their separate ways. Edwards then produced a solo record, Glad to Be Here, in 1983. In 1985 he was instrumental in the formation of the Power Station with Robert Palmer, Andy Taylor of Duran Duran and Chic drummer, Tony Thompson. Still a much sought-after bassist, he played on records by Paul Simon, Mick Jagger, Joe Cocker, Rod Stewart and projects that Niall Rogers produced, including David Bowie's Let's Dance and Madonna's Like a Virgin. After a long hiatus, Edwards teamed up with Rogers again for a Chic reunion in the early 1990s and released the album Chicism in 1992. In 1996, Niall Rogers was named Japan's Tobacco Super Producer of the Year and was invited to perform there with Chic in April of that year. Just before the show at Tokyo's Budokan Arena, Edwards fell ill, but despite Rogers' insistence, he refused to cancel the show. He managed to perform but had to be helped at times. At one point, Edwards passed out for a few seconds before playing again. Rogers assumed the bass absence was a deliberate improvisation and didn't discover the truth until after the show. After the show, Niall went to check on Bernard and asked how he was, to which he replied, I'm fine, I just need to rest. This was the last time Niall spoke to Bernard. Edwards retired to his hotel room, where he was later found dead by Rogers. The medical examiner determined that the cause of death was pneumonia. Edwards' final performance was released in 1996 as the Live at the Budokan album. Edwards has been nominated for four Grammy Awards for his work with Chic, Sister Sledge, Diana Ross and Robert On Palmer. September 19, 2005, Edwards was honored for his outstanding achievement as a producer when he was inducted into the Dance Music Hall of Fame at a ceremony held in New York. Please subscribe to our channel, activate the bell and like our video. Share with other friends too.